Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your contact from your iPhone to an Android phone or also how to export your contacts from your iPhone to your SIM card on your uh, phone if you have one. So what is going to happen is that this is going to be a really simple process if you want to follow along. There's a couple things you need to know whenever you're transferring contacts, especially when it comes from one device to another. So what happens is in your iPhone, generally, if you go into your settings and go to the Contacts app, right, it gives you the ability to import basically your SIM contacts, but doesn't really give you an option to export. So you may be wondering why is that the case? Why can I import but not actually export? Well, that's because over with iPhone, they made it a little bit simpler for you is that whenever you have a SIM card, it automatically already should save your contact onto your SIM card. And then when if you need to import it, you simply click on an import option here. Now, this is if you're going from one iPhone to another iPhone. Now, the other way to ensure that your contacts are moved from one iPhone to another iPhone is through your iCloud account. So if you're signed into iCloud account here, right, you click on over here and then you go to your iCloud and under iCloud here you want to show all and under the contacts you want to back up your contacts on the iCloud account so once this turned is on all of your contacts right that you have on the contacts app here or listed will be linked with your Apple iCloud account so that once you sign in to another iPhone or another device with the iCloud account most likely another Apple device right it will automatically get all of your contacts right into your iCloud email so that you can have all the contacts saved to you. Now you might be wondering if you're going to an Android device, right? How can you export them so that you can move to the Android phone? So for Android, it's slightly different. It's not as simple because with iPhone to iPhone, it's really simple. For the Android, in order to export and then transfer over to an Android device, what you'll have to first do is to do a backup of your contacts to the Google account. So how do you do that? Well, first thing is open up your contacts app, right? If your contact app is opened up like this, you want to go back on the list option. So you have a list like this. And under all contacts here, you're going to press and hold, right? And then you can do is you can email it. It's one way to do it. The other thing is export. So you click on that word, export here once you fold. Again, to bring up that menu that we just did, we press and hold on all contacts and then that menu should pop up to now export. As you can see here, we can export contact and then it asks you what do you want to export for all the contact data you have. I only have six contact, but you get the idea. You want to select what options you want. Generally, I like to keep everything and I'll hit that done option. And once I click on done here, what you can do is you can actually text it or email that export to the other device and you can get it like that or you can go ahead and save it to the files app here and then under the files app here you'll see there's an option for different location where you want to save it so i'm going to go ahead and save it to my iphone here so i'll click on that save right now i open up my files app and under the files app if i go to my phone you'll see here all contacts have been saved as an exportable file now what you'll do is after that you either can um, go ahead into your browser and you're going to want to go to your google account here so you'll go to google.com right and you're going to want to sign into your google account if you don't have one create it so you can use it on your android device because most Android devices are using a Google account in order to do anything. So you go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sign into this one here for on the screen. So all I'm doing is entering my password, right? So I enter my password here. And once I am signed in, it should look like this. And up top here, you can see here you have those dots or you can click on your profile. Basically, we're going to open up the contacts app on the Google account here so I go over here look for the contacts right and I click on contacts here and once I click on contacts here I can now go ahead and go ahead and see this so I can import contacts right I want to import them to my Google account so if I click on that it's going to ask me to select a file so I can go ahead and select a file and now we're going to select that file that we exported 
using our contacts app. So I click on that and it's selected. And now it should be a dot VCF file. And all I do is import. And it's going to be importing all my contact to my Google account. As you can see here, I have six contact. It's all imported here. And now we're ready to move over to our Android device. And simply on the Android device, what you'll do is either go to Google account here, open up the Google browser, and you're going to sign in here, right? Make sure you're connected to internet. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So on my Google, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. And you're going to want to sign in to the same account that you backed up or imported those contacts. So go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just quickly do that. So once you sign in, you might get some prompt like this, but basically you want to go ahead and as you can see here, it's going to ask you to back up your contact already on this device, but you, you can turn on the backup, but I'm simply not. But after you sign in for the very first time, or if you already signed in, we're basically looking to just get to our account. Same exact step here where we click on our account here. We can go ahead and manage our account. And once we click on manage our account, same exact thing here now we're going to want again so once you're signed into your Google account we can go back and we're going to go into our settings this time right on our Android device and in the settings here you're going to look for Google services and you should already be signed in but basically you want to sign to Google services and under as you can see here there's a lot of options here right under backup we want to go and take a look at Google account data and what will happen is contacts, contact, uh, calendar, and Gmail, certain data will get synced to your device once you're signed into the same account. As you can see your last sync of our data was just a few minutes ago. That means the contact that we imported into our Google accounts, now if we go back to our phone here and look at the contacts app and then I look down here those contacts on my iPhone are now available on the Android device just like that. So that's how you go about moving or exporting contacts from your iPhone to uh, iPhone, another iPhone or Android device. Remember with the iPhone to iPhone you're going to use most likely uh, it's going to be automatic or you can use the iCloud one and then Android you just export it to your Google account and then sign into your Google account so it's synced on your Android device. So that's how you do it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.